Hello. That was amazing, wasn't it? Beautiful. Really beautiful. Um, okay, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the um, the prize, which is in its second year of, of running this year. It started last year, and Jacob Polly was last year's judge. So this year we had almost 600 entries, which I think was, was up on last year, and they came from everywhere. There was a, a, a way to submit by post and also online entries. And I read um, about 590 poems, I think, anonymously. So they came to me without names, of course, just with numbers on them. Um, and I read each of the poems at least twice because, like most judges, I imagine, I went through a winnowing process. So I would read a bunch of 50 and take out the ones I liked best and replicate that. And then I'd look at the, um, the ones that were in the pile that I hadn't liked best and go through them again to see if maybe I had missed anything. And then I'd look at the ones I had li and so on and so forth. So really, uh, I think anyone who entered who didn't win a prize, um, be assured that your poem was, was read very carefully and that it may have reached one of the, the several stages between submission and between the, the, the final award of the prizes. Um, I was delighted that the committee were able to give me some leeway in terms of not just having the, the three prize winning um, entries, the, the ones uh, first, second and third prize, but I did ask because there were so many poems, well because there were other poems that I, I really wanted to notice officially, I did ask if it would be possible for me to make a highly uh, recommended award and also to make um, some other commendations and uh, they very generously said, yeah, go ahead. So I was really pleased in the end to be able to officially note nine poems. Um, so I, I, I really liked and admired those nine poems, but of course there were more than nine poems that I, I really liked and admired, but these were nine that I thought represented, I suppose, different approaches to writing a poem and, and, and had a different sensibility of, of um, what it is that a poem can do uh, within the small space that it allows itself. Um, so there was differences there, but I thought that within, within each poem was a level of mastery and achievement and just an impressive kind of stance, just a way that the poem presented it itself and said, here I am, this is what I do, this is my business, watch how I do it. Uh, and there was a great confidence and I think a flair in evidence that, that I really enjoyed and admired in, in these poems here. So once I sent back my list of, of nine poems, um, I sent it back to, to Janet and then she showed me the names of the winners, which I hadn't seen up to that point. And I was enormously relieved that I didn't recognize any of them because there's always a moment where you think, I hope it's not my best friend. I hope it's not my son. <laughs> because questions will be asked. But luckily, I didn't recognize the names, so I was, I was uh, tickled about that. Um, it's, it was actually really fun judging the competition because you, know, you, you get a sense of what's happening in poetry right now what kind of thematic concerns are there, but also what sort of formal approaches people are taking. If there are kind of fashions going on within the poetry world, that's where you're going to see them is in a group of almost 600 poems. Um, if there are words that keep cropping up or if there are particular uh, poetic forms or styles that are in fashion at the moment, you'll see them there. So it was kind of fascinating just to take the temperature, as it were, of contemporary poetry uh, through, through the judging process. Um, I would have to thank Janet in particular for administering it with such good cheer but also such efficiency. Uh, really it would have been so much harder to do my end if Janet hadn't been taking care of setting everything up so, so cleanly. But I think also I'd like to thank Poets and Players organisation uh, for running the competition, for wanting to run the competition, but also I think in general for the work that they do in promoting poetry in Manchester and, and uh, in, in broader areas as well. It's a really commendable organisation and I'm delighted to be associated with it through this competition.